And finally, the second batch of individuals selected at random to have the rare opportunity of flying in the cowbell hot air balloon uh, have done so. The flight, which lasted about 30 minutes above the Afienya Plains, ended at Bundase military base in the greater Accra region. Meanwhile, Nancy MFA Dradosi has also been interacting with students who went uh, to the Ghana Education Service to uh, include more practicals in their syllabus. Uh, Nancy MFA Dradosi spent some time with those who flew in the hot air balloon. This is the second day of the second edition of the Cowbell Hot Air Balloon. So yesterday, um, we recorded the longest journey so far, lost about 40 kilometers. It took us about um, 140, one hour, 40 minutes to locate the hot air balloon when it finally landed. But it was also in the air for one hour, 20 minutes. So they said it is the longest so far. Today, we don't know what's going to happen, but I mean, some of the guests um, or the passengers, I would say, um, have already arrived. Let me just try and try and locate some of them and find out from them the expectations because I, I know that, you know, for most people, they sometimes feel the butterflies in their tummy they are scared it comes with a lot of you know excitement and all of that but let's let me just find um i think i just spotted one of them hi how you doing um, are you flying today yes are, are you sleepy no i'm not <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling right now i have most expectation ahead of this flight um i'm expecting the balloon shouldn't go beyond the first layer of the atmosphere that is the troposphere and i'm a bit scared but <laughs> why are you scared of heights uh, not really. Lions are not really scared of you, you're a lion. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, yesterday I interacted with a pilot, and he okay. told me they had the longest flight yesterday, and yeah. um, that was about 40 kilometers. How does that make you guys feel? Excited. You know, it's all about giving the best of experience, and uh, we are glad the the guests had a good time and uh, they had the longest flight. Let's see what today has to. Uh, I mean, has so far. Let me just speak to uh, last but one guest. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your hi. name? I'm Ken. No, you're hyper, dear. Why? What's the expectation? I need to get out of the hyper because this thing doesn't look like something that is funny at all. So I forgot how the hype was. I'm still standing on the ground. <laughs> We're looking at it and it's bloating, going up into the sky. Is this what you expected to see? Um, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I have, what's your expectation? Is it the first time you're going to be so yeah. high in the air? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like I said in my in my video that was posted on Instagram, um, I'm I'm a little over six foot as you can see, but one of my fears is heights. And so when I put it out there, people supported me. Like Charlie, because of this cowbell, should support you. And so this going up right now, I think is the highest I'm ever going to go. And to think that it's not, it's a balloon. Come to think of it, Charlie, anything can happen. But vim, 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 vim. There they go, climbing the basket, use the other side, and get to speak to Regina. Hi, Regina. How are you doing? I'm fine. You're late, by the way. Yes, very late. What's your expectation? Are you scared? How's that feeling? I'm, I'm nervous. I'm anxious, but then I'm hoping it'll be a good flight. I heard it's a very good, renowned uh, pilot, so I'm sure I'll be safe. Is this the first time you're going to be so high in the sky? Very, yes, this is my first time. This is my first time. But you know you'll be good, you'll be fine. Yes. I've seen others do it, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Will, um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> fingers crossed. All the best, guys. So there they go. About to really, the pilot is releasing um, the rope that is holding it together. And in a few seconds, Sarah, Regina, and Ken will be far above in the sky. before the setup and so there he goes he's just about to release this he's, he just let go all right guys bye okay bye. there they go beautiful up there in the sky so at a stand, we do not know where they are going. So what we have, what we are going to be doing is to wait and see the direction, and then we can follow and chase them. After over an hour of looking for the hot air balloon, we finally found it at Bondase. Is that just one word? I want all of you to say it at the same time. Mm -hmm. So in one word, describe the experience. Amazing. Awesome. Awesome, <laughs> awesome actually. It was awesome. Yeah. How did you feel? Um, I was a bit terrified, but <laughs> Fiero, <laughs> but I overcame it, and 
Just okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, yeah. what about you? You the way you're already you were already hyper in the morning. So, how how is it now? I had to vim myself. I think it's better I actually did that in the morning because the view can be terrifying. But it was beautiful. I mean, right now it's it's like fulfilling. It's like something I wanted to do. Check. Done it. You came late and then you were scared. I saw you shivering. I was asking you questions and you were all over the place. Yes, I was but scared. I was I was wondering what the whole thing was gonna be about. But then I, I realized there's no need to be afraid because if